do today a plus b plus then a minus b minus so we need two cylinders and both will be double acting cylinders so from here you can select those cylinders Right, so this is my double acting cylinder double click on this thing so you'll get a new pop-up window right, so this is my new for zooming you can use control and middle scroll button so to configure this double acting cylinder double click on this thing so we'll end this as a s1 first end so we'll put it as a first end as a zero s2 second end or other end which is 100 click on ok so here you can see s1 and s2 to configure the other things later click on configuration so in configuration it is a one piston rod then single acting uh, it's a double acting cylinder over here if you want to remove cushioning uncheck this box then sensing so both will get unchecked so this is your raw double acting cylinder which have two ports first port from left hand side which is s1 and second port on the other side so extraction uh, stroke will take place when we have input from this side and retraction will take place when we will have input from this side so to operate this double acting cylinder we need two three by two wall or we can use a five by two wall if you want to make it automatic as we need a cycle of a plus b plus a minus b minus so we want to operate it automatically so we'll use a 5 by 2 wall so it's a 5 by 2 wall so in 5 by 2 wall there will be five ports and two positions so these two positions will be connected to this one so as this will be a power source at the initial stage so we will be giving this input to here always keep in mind that so last stroke should be in retraction because you prefer that one because your piston will be in inner side positions and this connection to this point now remaining connections here you need a power source so that is a compressor from which you will get a compressed air so this is the symbol for compressor like this one so this is compressor from here you can give the input to change the configure or to configure this compressor you can double click on this one here you can see the flow rate if you increase the flow rate so it will be faster so to uh, you can change flow rate here i will keep it as a 10 then this will be the opening to the atmosphere or through sucker so you can change this port directly to the open to atmosphere select this type of a port click on ok both because the entrapped air will move through these things in practical we have done this uh, by using a silencers are provided over here and that air will be open to atmosphere this will be the position one which is uh, now actuated when you will press this one now how to actuate this 5 by 2 wall so this 5 by 2 wall we will operate pneumatically only because we are discussing complete pneumatical circuit or pneumatic circuit so select the second option for pneumatic on both side so both will be pneumatically operated now this operation these two we are we will control through 3 by 2 wall so we need two three by two walls so if you go over here you will find a three by two wall so this is your three by two wall you need two three by two wall so you can bring one more right so to control this position so connection will be like this directly to this point and connection of this to the this end so this two will control now how we are controlling this three by two wall so this three by two wall can be controlled manually if you put this as a manually a simple manually so we'll put it as manually push button type and the return i will put it as a spring return so click on ok similarly for this one also we'll make it as a manually push type spring return click on ok so if you use only this much you need to give a power source for here so we'll use again a compressor or you can use the same compressor but for simplicity i am using two compressors over here so we'll give this input to here and from here i will give input to this point now if you 
I will change this port. I will keep it as a this one similar to this thing. I mean this one. So if you want to main manually control this double acting cylinder by using a 5 by 2 volt, so this is the setup for this thing. So if you click on start, so you can see over here, if I press this manually, so that will be an extension straw. You can change the, if you want to take a retraction, press this button. I have left this button, if you press this, so that will be a retraction. These arrows, when you are pressing this one, here you can see the, if you go by step by step, single step at a time, so here you can see that is the movement of this thing when you are pressing this thing so in a reverse direction this will be the movement this black arrow indicates flow of air so air will flow from this compressor to both but you have to this is blocked so it will not move to this direction so it will move in this direction now this is actuated position because i have pressed this thing so compressor will pass from here to here and it will be actuating this position so if you click this one so here you can see now this is actuated now a compressed air from this compressor will move to this end so it will push this piston on this side this entrapped air will pass to this port 5 and from here it will be open to atmosphere so if you click on plus one and you get the final okay so that is regarding controlling it by using the two three by two wall and by using the five by two wall now if you want to make a cycle a continuous cycle so you want to operate it automatically so to operate it automatically so you need another where we are focusing is this will be a simple a plus b plus then a minus b minus we want to do so this is the simple a plus b plus sorry a plus a minus so this is a plus a minus so i'll increase the font so this is a, a plus a minus if you want to make it a continuous cycle so what i will do is that situation of this thing where i have kept here it has a manually instead of that one i will change it by using mechanically by using a roller operated 3 by 2 wall so i'm making this as a roller operated 3 by 2 wall click on ok similarly we will change this also as a roller operated sorry not manually as a mechanically roller operated okay so these are the two wall. now operation of this thing so if input from this one you can change the input of this thing so when i want to operate this wall when it reaches to the position s1 once it reaches to s1 so it will get actuated so we'll just put over here label as a s1 so we will have a 3 by 2 wall roller operator which will get actuated once it reaches to s1 position and once it reaches to s1 position this will get actuated air will flow from this end to this end and it will push piston on that side when this piston reaches to s2 position i want to actuate this thing so click on this one double click right s2 click on ok now when you start so here you can see it will be a continuous cycle a plus a minus a plus a minus you can get into the steps so first if you click on this one so this will be s1 as it reach to s1 so this will get actuated as this get actuated so this will be actuated position compressed air will flow from this end so now this will push piston on the right hand side and once it reaches to the right hand side then this entrapped air will flow to the open to atmosphere or sucker once it reaches to the s2 position then this will actuate this 3 by 2 volt once it reaches to actuate, now this is actuated. Once it gets actuated, compressed air from here will move to this thing. And now this will get actuated, this, the second box. Once it gets actuated, your compressed air will pass through this thing. So here you can see, now it's get actuating. Now this will pass through this end. Now your piston will move in that direction. Now this will be a continuous cycle. If you want to change the speed, 
in this case so you can change the flow rate if you put it as a hundred if you click on ok and click on start so you can see the speed increase the speed by changing the flow rate this will be the input so as the previous case i will put it as a 1000 so that is for a plus a minus a simplest thing so we will do next that is a plus b plus a minus b minus in the next video connected to this video only because it will be a lengthy video that's why i'm making it only the a plus a minus and in next we will do a plus b plus a minus b minus thank you